Hey, hi! Today is actually Tuesday, June 16th. Um, I weighed myself yesterday, June 15th, for my mid-month weigh-in, but I wanted to give you a little story about how these past two weeks have been going. June 1st, I weighed in at 200 84 pounds. So, what has been happening in the past two weeks? Several things. One thing that happened was my son came into town and wanted to go out to dinner and Texas is slowly opening back up and we were able to go into uh, Olive Garden for dinner. Now, I know Olive Garden is not on my like diet <laughs> but you know I've been eating pretty much the same thing for two months so it's like okay let's go ahead and have one dinner splurge I had uh, fettuccine alfredo oh that white cheesy rich sauce and those wide uh, fettuccine noodles oh it was absolute heaven, and I love Olive Garden's salad, and I had bread sticks. Now we know the story about me and bread, if you've been following my channel. <laughs> yeah, bread can really lead to um, addictive, bingy eating for me, but uh, fortunately this was dinner, not breakfast. Anyway, so that was one day. And then uh, the other thing that happened uh, my daughter, Jay Scarum, J-A-Y Scarum, she also has a YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching me or subscribe to me, please watch her. Please subscribe to her. We are doing a um, video series together. We're going to split it between our two channels about eating food of a particular color in a day. We thought it would be fun to try to do it. And we have already filmed a pink and red day. We did uh, yellow and orange, we did green, and we still have one more to film. Uh, but when we are done, like I said, we'll split that between our two channels. On pink and red day, one of the things I had was spam. Oh, I love spam. Anyway, so I had it for that day, and then the days following I had to finish it up. And instead of being a good girl and just frying it up in a pan and eating it plain, I would wrap it around a piece of bread and be eating these Spam sandwiches. Which, you know, it's like, not good for a diet. But, you know, I'm being honest here. Uh, and then uh, Orange and Yellow Day, there, there was a lot of uh, fruit, which is high in sugar. So, anyway, without a huge explanation, the two weeks could have been better. But the good news about this past two weeks, on Thursday, June 3rd, the pool in my condominium complex opened. Monday through Friday, closed at night, closed on the weekends. But hey, praise God, it's open at all so I can go and do my swimming. So that Thursday and Friday, I went and swam a half a mile each day. Uh, I was closed on the weekend, and then the next the next week went three times, swam a mile each time. I'm going to insert my weigh in uh, shortly, and we'll see if all that exercise helped combat the bad eating. So here's the weigh in. As you can see, 280 pounds. I lost four pounds. I'm still averaging two pounds a week. I'm very excited, very happy about that. At the Sunday before my weigh-in, I went for my longest walk ever. I did a figure eight around my whole entire complex, which is my furthest walk yet. But there are three little streets that come into my complex, all, all parallel to each other, and then there's a main road up on top. So I start at one and I go up to the main street, come down the middle street, come up the far street, come back down, and you know, like, like do this figure eight around my complex. I had also done that on Sunday, so that added to the exercise. So, being lucky enough to have lost four pounds after all that 
you know, off track eating does not give me, you know, free license to, you know, go hog wild. But I did get a little break from my usual. And I'm not going to keep this for too long. I mean, you tuned in for the weigh-in. So thank you very much for clicking on my video. I really do appreciate it. I'd love for you to uh, hit the subscription button, hit the, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload. And until next time, stay safe, stay smart, and God bless. Bye.